to devastating damage caused by an overnight tornado in Brunswick County. Schools there are closed throughout the county due to extensive power outages. It is our top story this morning. This week. Sadly, we're learning the storm was deadly. The Brunswick County Sheriff's Office updated us a short time ago with the latest. Joining us now is WWA's Tanner Barth, who has been at one community near Sunset Beach all morning where there's lots of damage. Tanner, what exactly, where exactly are you and what have you learned about the damage so far? Well, Jeff, I'm here at the Ocean Ridge Plantation, which is, you know, just north of that Sunset Beach and Ocean Isle Beach area. And what I can tell you is, you know, I was here earlier this evening, got here around 1250 or so, and I had a chance to walk around this neighborhood. And you guys have mentioned it, you know, pure devastation. Houses completely taken off of their foundation. Tree snapped in half. Cars are thrown for nearly a half a mile in some situations. It's going to be a long road to recovery here, and we will make sure we keep you updated along the way. Brunswick Electric did say they had 7,000 people without power right now. At one time, that number was as high as 35,000. So they're working to get that back as soon as possible. And we hope here over the next half hour to an hour, once the sun rises, we can get back in here to the Ocean Ridge Plantation and check out some of the you know, damage and give people an update on just exactly what is happening here. But one thing I do know, our, heart, our prayers go out to uh, the people here in Sunset Beach and Ocean Isle Beach here this evening. But for now, reporting from Ocean Isle Beach, Tanner Barth, WWAY News. Jeff and Randy. All right, Tanner, thank you so much. And we join you with our, our thoughts and best wishes for the people who are waking up to this devastation in Brunswick County. That is Ocean Ridge Plantation. And the electric company is telling people and emergency responders stay away from the area because it is still a very active scene. They are still worried about a lot of those power lines that are still down and may still be active. And we will continue to give you more live updates later this morning. We're going to move on to some other news this morning. First responders have cleared the scene, but still have questions about a bizarre accident yesterday at the base of the Riceville Beach drawbridge. Yeah, it happened near the Heidi Trash drawbridge, and it was reported about 930. Wilmington police say the truck veered off the road near Wrightsville Avenue. You can see it right there, and that's where it landed right there in the marsh. It struck the gazebo at the Cross City Trail. The driver was okay, but taken to New Hanover Regional Medical Center. Wilmington police are still investigating that bizarre crash. In Bladen County, the Sheriff's Office says the number of COVID cases at the detention center there have been relatively low considering the number of inmates that come through the facility. The jail administrator says when inmates first get to the center, they are quarantined for 14 days. Since last July, the jail reports only six positive cases for inmates. Inmates are also being provided mass sanitizer and soap and water. The soap is the jail rather is also using an atomizer type fogger that can disinfect a large area or space as small as a cell, transportation vans or patrol cars. Leland is one of the fastest growing towns in the country and the fastest growing area in North Carolina. The rapid growth has led town council members to start a new project laying out plans for the future. Matthew Huddleston has the details. This project is an effort to lay the policy framework for how Leland will grow and develop over the next 25 years. For the past decade, Leland has experienced unprecedented growth. Since 2010, the population of the town has nearly doubled. Ben Andre with the town of Leland believes that growth won't slow down anytime soon. I think they're going to see our population continue to increase. And with that increase, we're going to see an increase in diversity in our population, both in age and demographics. And so the composition of the community is going to change, and that's going to drive uh, how the community is going to grow, both residentially and from a commercial perspective. The rapid climb in residents has prompted the town of Leland to begin a project to plan out how the area should develop over the next two and a half decades. Andrea says input from locals is vital to the project's success. Well, it's very important that we get the community involved. This is a vision for what the community wants to see for Leland's growth and development, so we encourage folks to get involved. According to Andrea, the process of making your voice heard has been made very easy by the town. We've just moved into the public engagement portion of this project. We held the first community workshop virtually on the 19th of January. We had about 100 people show up to the virtual community meeting. We also have an area in town hall open called the public engagement hub. That's the room that we're standing in now, and this is an opportunity to, for folks to come and visit us in person and provide their input for the project. In Leland, Matthew Huddleston, WWAY News. The town has two more virtual workshops scheduled for March and August. Andrea says they plan to listen to every voice 
when making decisions. And still to come on Good Morning Carolina, more questions remain about the events leading up to the Capitol uprising, even after the Senate vote to acquit Donald Trump on charges of inciting that violence. And as the winter storm slows efforts to roll out the coronavirus vaccine, congressional Democrats work with President Biden on details of another relief package. And we're going to see dry time for a change. Lots of sunshine if you're taking the boat, that boat out today. Winds out of the southwest with gusts as high as 30 knots. Uh, small craft advisory and gale warnings in effect until 10 o'clock later this evening. And I'll have a look at the rest of the work week forecast, though, coming up after the break. Mixedish goes to church. Finally, some style. And everyone's having. What's with all the Rick James? That's Jesus. A revelation. I might choose church too, Dad. I found fifty dollars in all those coat pockets. Mixedish, new tonight on ABC. At Michael and Son, we're here to serve our customers during this challenging time. With our worry-free, hassle-free systems, you can enjoy a new heating and cooling system for as low as ninety-nine dollars a month, and we'll take care of all maintenance, repairs, and even filter replacements. Michael and Son. You want your home to be clean and comfortable, and the experts at Down East Heating and Air Conditioning are there to make that happen. They can provide you with options and ideas that won't cost you a fortune and innovative products that help keep your air clear. A family-owned business with over 80 years of experience and a reputation for doing the job right. We stand behind every brand unit we install to make sure they run efficiently for you. Call the team you can trust. Down East Heating and Air Conditioning, your Bryant dealer who does whatever it takes in Jacksonville, Wilmington, and surrounding areas. Buying a car bring you stress and anxiety? Our family has been serving Southeastern North Carolina for over 40 years, and we're proud that our customers feel comfortable and relaxed during our fast and simple buying process. We specialize in newer model pre-owned vehicles with an average saving of over $10,000. We can also help with a variety of commercial vehicles for all your business needs. We'll look forward to seeing you soon at Go Automotive. For 100 years, King Off's Jewelers has served Wilmington with generations of fine jewelry and impeccable service. We do appraisals on site and jewelry repairs are fully guaranteed. Let our goldsmith create a one of a kind item just for you. Visit our exclusive selection of designer jewelry by Michu, Artistry, and Bellatois. King Off's Jewelers at Hanover Center. For 100 years, if it's from King Off's, it's guaranteed. Although times may seem uncertain, one thing's for sure, that we at Michael & Son are here to keep your family safe and comfortable 24-7. Call Michael & Son today and ask about our $99 train cleaning special. Michael & Son. I love these Palisades. New Palisades arriving daily at Parkway Hyundai. Get your morning and evening traffic updates every weekday with Waze and WWAY. Now, here's meteorologist Ramel Carpenter with your Storm Track 3 AccuWeather forecast brought to you by Window World of Wilmington. Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Well, obviously, last night's events were the big talking point in the weather community. We had a tornado uh, confirmed that moved across the area late last night between about 1130 and midnight, tracking across southwestern uh, Brunswick County. This here is a six hour radar loop of yesterday or of last night's events, and you'll notice we're starting to quiet things down a bit. The severe weather threat is long gone. It's over and done with. And as we get going throughout the day today, we are dealing with some trailing showers for the time being. And the National Weather Service is going to send a team out as we get towards first light sunrise time right around 7 o'clock uh, this morning. And we are thankfully going to see some sunshine today, but after uh, not until we see these uh, trailing showers track across our region, just light to moderate showers across western uh, Bladen and Columbus counties as well. So this is the scene from our Skyview Camera Network uh, from Carolina Beach. Quiet roadways out there this morning and it is uh, quite mild out there. If you step out the door, you'll notice it's going to be uh, quite mild and muggy as well. Dew points are shooting up into the upper 50s and the lower 60s, and that was all associated with last night's system. We're sitting in the middle 60s in the Port City, upper 50s over into portions of the Holly Shelter area. Actually, one of the warmest spots in the lower 48 here in the Cape here, middle 60s, middle 70s down towards South Florida. And notice the Arctic air uh, dominating uh, much of the central U.S., 20 degrees below zero in Omaha, Nebraska, and we're just sitting at one degree in Dallas, Texas. And of course, along with that came some wintry weather yesterday. And right now we are dealing with some gusty winds, uh, sustained winds out of the southwest at about 13 miles per hour right now. And that's likely going to shoot up uh, uh, right around with gusts as high as 25, perhaps 30 
uh, miles per hour in store for us today. So middle 60s uh, for highs uh, later today for the coastal communities uh, as well as uh, the inland communities as well. And this is actually going to be happening early on in the day, mainly in the morning hours. Temperatures are actually going to slowly but surely start to decline as we get towards mid morning. So clearing skies late tonight and we're going to see a few uh, trailing showers track across our region by mid morning. And after that, we're long in the clear of the wet weather. Thankfully drying out. We've been certainly wet over the last several days. Lots of sunshine in store for us uh, this afternoon and clearing skies in store for us as well. But gusty winds are going to be a big talking point today out of the southwest, ranging anywhere between 20, 25 uh, plus miles per hour. And these winds will slowly but surely uh, start to taper off once we get into the early morning hours of our Wednesday as well. So overnight tonight we're dropping down into the lower 30s, so we're turning quite cold. One of the coldest nights we have seen uh, since uh, the course of the weekend where we were stuck in the 40s. So mostly clear skies uh, dipping below freezing in a few communities further inland along the coastline. Tonight we're dropping down into the middle and uh, the upper 30s with those winds making the shift out of the west 5 to 10 miles per hour with gusts as high as 15 and take a look at your latest WWAY Storm Track 3 accurate with the forecast. Finally, some dry time in store for us. Sunshine today into tomorrow, but um, Unfortunately, that doesn't stick around too long, too much longer. As we get into Thursday, a low pressure system is going to pay us a visit, bringing us more wet weather Thursday into early Friday. But luckily for us guys, thankfully we're drying out for the weekend, but it's going to be quite chilly. Highs in the upper 40s on Saturday and the low 50s on Sunday. Well, a lot to look forward to for especially people in Brunswick County who've been dealing with a lot of heartache overnight. And for those of you just tuning in, we wanted to let you know that there was a deadly tornado that came through Brunswick County overnight killing 10 people and injuring at, or excuse me killing three people and injuring 10 and most of the damage seems to be in the brunswick county area of ocean isle beach sunset beach and a place called ocean ridge plantation power lines are still down throughout that area and in fact schools are closed all throughout brunswick county because of those power outages and we're also hearing from brunswick county emergency services and the sheriff's office we know at least 50 homes were affected that's not to say they were damaged but were affected by the storm they are still out there assessing other homes this morning uh, brunswick county has opened up a temporary shelter for anyone who needs it this morning we want to give you that number so if you want to grab pen and paper the number is 910-253-5383 again that number is 910-253-5383 and as the sunlight comes up, they will continue to assess to see if there's even more damage out there. And Ramel, we were wondering, just from a meteorological point of view, this seemed to happen very quickly. I know we had talked about the potential for severe weather. Kind of talk us through the science of this. Yeah, and this was actually a lone cell that ended up developing into a tornadic cell. Uh, we had a few severe thunderstorm warnings, and this particular one uh, just uh, got enough energy to where it became a tornado uh, warned storm. So uh, the National Weather Service sees this on radar. There's a uh, hook echo, and there's signs on radar and uh, velocity images that determine that there's a tornado confirmed on the radar and I believe there were spotters that confirmed that there was a tornado on the ground and it's definitely going to be uh, seeing a National Weather Service team send out later this morning and they're going to assess the damage give us the ranking of that tornado as well. All right, Mel, thank you for that for explaining that to mm -hmm. us and still to come we will take you back to Ocean Ridge Plantation for a look at the devastation caused by that overnight storm. And we'll see the snow and ice that people in other parts of the country are dealing with this morning as a fierce winter storm rages across the U.S. Hey guys, have you ever noticed that sometimes you find one simple thing that makes a big difference, right? That's what this is. This is the Clean Light Water Bottle, and let me tell you a little bit of a personal story. So for 20 years, I drank nothing but diet soda, literally nothing but diet soda. I started drinking water, but then here's the problem. I'm a really picky water drinker. I only like water if it's cold and fresh, right? But how do you do that when I'm running around all day? Now I can have a fresh, cold bottle of water anytime I want, even if I poured it four hours ago. This is the Clean Light Water Bottle, and here's what's brilliant. So in the top, I just tap it. See this little light? That means that the UV light is cleaning the water on the inside of this bottle. In three minutes, I'm gonna have a clean, fresh bottle of water. Isn't that amazing? And it's insulated, so my cold water is still gonna stay cold, my hot beverage is still gonna stay hot, but in three minutes, this is gonna kill 99.9% .9 of the bacteria in the water. Even if it's been sitting in my car, even if it was at my desk for that long three hour meeting, no problem. These right now are one of the hottest things going and on localsteels.com, you can get them for 41% off. 
Think about it. You're at the office, you're at home, you're at the gym, your kids are at school. Everybody would love a clean, fresh bottle of water any time of the day. Robin Roberts, George Stephanopoulos, Michael Strahan. Come on, we could all use some good in our mornings. So join us. Wake up with America's number one most watched morning show, ABC. Good morning, America. Oh, how I love saying that. Hi, I'm Sheriff Ed McMahon, and this is one of my little friends who's looking for a family. He's only one of many who need a home. Our goal is to provide quality services to New Hanover County citizens. Our hours of operation are Monday through Friday, 8 to 4 p.m., and Saturday, 8 to noon. We also offer three free rabies clinics per year. So please, come meet your new family member here at our Animal Services Unit. Feel free to call us or go to NewHanoverSheriff.com for more information. Hi, I'm Lisa Robertson with Local Steals and Deals. Wouldn't it be great if you had someone in your life who found all the coolest things for you and found them at a price you couldn't find anywhere else. That's us, local steals and deals. We have so many great ideas. We have health and beauty and jewelry and electronics and all kinds of great ideas. Want to know how easy it is? Simply text WWAYTV3 to 65000 and we'll send all the information right to your phone. At Sweet D's Cuisine, we offer you not just an amazing sweet treat experience, we offer you the traditions of baking from generations in our family. And now, we're on a mission to provide you, our valued customer, the best baked sweets in the Cape Fear region, right here in Wilmington. Sweet D's embodies every delicious sweet treat and baked pastries with the knowledge and heartfelt passion to give you the very best, because at Sweet D's Cuisine, when you're here, you're family. When the doctor told us about my mom's cancer, it made me feel so helpless. Until I called the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, I spoke to Grace from LLS, who patiently answered all my questions. Her support made us feel whole again. Closed captioning brought to you by Ham Hearing Aid Center. And luckily for us, we're finally drying out across the Cape Fear. Lots of sunshine in store for us. And temperatures this morning, we're sitting in the middle 60s. As we head into the afternoon, temperatures are going to slowly decline into the upper 50s. Breezy conditions as well with wind gusts as high as 25 plus miles per hour. First responders in Brunswick County are working at this hour to assess damage from a killer tornado that touched down in Brunswick County overnight. We know a private community called the Ocean Ridge Plantation near Sunset Beach sustained lots of damage. And that's where WWA's Matthew Huddleston joins us now with more. Matthew, I know the command center is fully functioning right now. And this morning around 430, the sheriff's department officials met with you. What did they tell you? Yeah, earlier on they did confirm that there were three fatalities with this tornado and 10 injuries. Right now, no one is missing at the moment, but as the sunlight starts to come up later on this morning, we'll see if they find any wilds across the area. Thankfully, the damage right now is just confined south of here, just down the road, but it is still closed off in this part of Brunswick County. So if you have any area, because a lot of the roads are still shut down, parts of Highway 17 and both directions are closed at this hour and a traffic light behind me still with no power down here has no lights working. So police are directing traffic at that light. So a lot going on down here in this area. Thanks to that tornado last night. And as Ramel said earlier, coming through last night at night as people were sleeping. So still uh, hard to see around this area exactly the amount of damage across Brunswick County. I did see some damage driving in earlier on this morning, but once the sun starts to come up, we should start to see exactly the extent of this damage down here in this part of the Cape Fear. But again, a lot of action across this part of Brunswick County. Police, EMS, and fire trucks all on the scene down here at the Circle K behind me. So a very active scene here over the next several hours. And a press conference is scheduled for later on this morning around 12 o'clock. More updates should be uh, provided around then. Until then, live in Brunswick County, Matthew Huddleston, WWAY News. Donna, Jeff. And once again, that's our meteorologist, Matthew Huddleston, reporting from Brunswick County.